Well, we got the cars in here. going on guys welcome back to another video today we got a few things to do for the warehouse first off we got to keep moving in the boys are helping me right now we've been moving in some more tools and stuff to fill up the shelves we got a whole bunch of junk and also we got to move over some more cars today because we only have the 350 in here right now plan is to move probably the uh, the red e36 maybe the subaru and probably the skyline if we can yeah the white bmw is still getting caged right now and the 240 is still sitting in the garage not running so we're gonna wait on that also the little office area definitely needs a couch so we're actually gonna go couch shopping here in a little bit and uh find a little something to put there maybe like a little coffee table rug and i'm not sure if we're gonna get to the tv today we might it's pretty early in the day we got some time we got a box in the other day this is one of the seats for the 240 i believe yeah just one well, yeah i kind of want to take it out of the wrapping because it looks cool how dare you matt 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 yeah. be careful yeah. Ooh. Nice, I like that. Give her a feel. Ooh, ooh. Alcantara. It's like, it's like cheap Alcantara. Cheap? <laughs> it's Sparko. <laughs> Alrighty, where do we put it safe? From the cow store, trying to figure out what to get. I think about the uh, the sectional maybe. We're trying out this nice little black one. This would probably be in black maybe if we get it. Not sure if we have enough room, but it's kind of cheap. We'll see. Well, we were looking at couches, ended up not finding the one we were looking for today, but it's all right. We're going to find one probably in a couple days and get it in the office. Went ahead and moved the Skyline in, so we got that in the 350. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the house, try to get the uh, the Red E36 on the trailer and get it over here along with the Subaru. The plan is for those two, the Subaru is going to be back. The red one's going to be here. I'm going to get the white one. We'll shove it here for now on the 240 until we get the lift in. The Red E36 does not actually drive right now. Well, it does, but the power steering line is not on it, so... What we're gonna have to do is trailer instead of driving it over here. But whenever we get it over here, we're gonna probably throw the line on it and it should be good to go. Like a lot of you guys know, the R32 does not actually hold charge. I just drove it over here, it's a couple miles, and we had to jump it beforehand. So pretty much I've driven this car like about a 15 minute drive, let it sit for an hour and came back to drive it and it, uh, it was dead. So let's see if this holds a charge. So I'm wondering if it's like the battery or the alternator or if it's just a draw from it. So we got the multimeter, test it out. 11? 11.87. She's a little low. <laughs> Aha, there she is. She's coming back. Oh yeah. Well, we got the cars in here. Forgot to turn the camera on. Sorry, but looks good. We got a lot of space kind of on each side. We're going to go ahead and fill those shelves up with all the crap we got in the back of the truck. Well, we got it all set up for tonight. This is pretty much everything that we had in the garage back at the house. Doesn't take up nearly as much room, so we got a lot of room to work with, a lot of empty shelves to fill. Taking advantage of this little storage closet in here. Yes! Got like all the oils and all the uh, all the degreasing and fluids and stuff like that, and all the cleaning stuff down here, and towels and all that stuff like that. But we're gonna call that good for tonight. We got a lot of stuff moved in. That is a good step in the right direction. There's sweet spots with the lighting in here. Did you notice that? Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with the builds we got going on the channel. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.